All right, what is up guys? So it's a little late down at the garage. We had a late start for the day. We all kind of went to the skate park today. A new skate park opened by us and it was really fun. So, yes. What we're gonna do today is I wanna do a little sound system upgrade on the Z because the speakers are pretty blown and the head unit is in Japanese. But another interesting thing is we have our new shop mate. Well, not technically me, but at this garage. So my buddy Dylan moved into our old bay to basically take my spot to cover the rent and uh, he is moving in very fast. Hello. So I don't know if you guys heard me mention it in the last video, but he is building a Cressida. Another one. So do you wanna explain what a Cressida is? It's a rear wheel drive grandma car. There it is. What year is this? 90. 90. This thing's cool though. So it, it, it literally is a grandma car. Look at it, it looks like an old Buick or something, but with a little bit of like an aero kit on it, these things look stupid sick. Like, these things look insane. They look like super JDM, and it's kind of weird to see it transform, so I'm excited. He just got this one, so he had one before, it has good parts on it, so he's swapping all the good parts over. This one's cleaner shell, I guess. Yes. We're gonna see this car transform very quickly. I'm very excited for it. It's gonna be weird to see something other than an S-Jazz in here. Uh, we're gonna do a little something funny with this. So his coilovers have a ton of rust on them, surface rust that is. They're not too bad, but we're gonna try something funny and we're gonna soak them in coke overnight to see if you can get the rust off. So, this is essentially how dirty they are. As you can see, very rusty. The goal is to get all the rust off these threads, essentially, so he can spin these. Some of them spin, just not all of them, so. This is Banjo too, by the way. And I wanna show off the shop. So I had a lot of moving around yesterday too. We went to Lowe's and got a few things and I'm starting to look a little bit more moved in. I set up my workbench, quick little pegboard action and uh, I got my work, I got my old toolbox back from Don. I was letting Don borrow this but he's getting himself a new one for the holidays so I was able to get this one back and uh, we're working on the little hangout area. So my goal is to get a couch, put some nice little padded floor down and get a TV and make this all nice little hangout spot. But we're, we're getting there. I hung up my steering wheels, make it look all fancy. I'm really excited for this. I've been running around just kind of rambling at you guys, but what I really wanna to do tonight, like I said, is put a new little audio system in the Z. So we're gonna do a little budget friendly audio system. We're gonna to go to the store, get some universal speakers, throw them in, put a new head unit in, and uh, make the Z sound nice. Hey, Steffi. Hi. Good old fashioned Walmart. All right, let's get some speakers. So we got the goods. Now, it was a little bit more expensive than I anticipated. Speakers are worth it. The head unit, I guess I didn't technically need. This one's kind of nice, but all I have is an aux feature and I kind of want the USB. I'm being picky. You got, sometimes you just have to ball out. We're about to hook up this car with some brand new speakers. So we're gonna start with the easy part and that's the head unit. Now, if you don't have an aftermarket head unit in there already, they sell installation kits, so it basically comes with all the mounting stuff for it. And they also sell a harness adapter kit for you too, so you don't have to cut your factory harness. Those I would suggest to get, they're pretty, they're pretty easy to find. So my car already has an aftermarket head unit in it, so it has all this stuff, so I can kind of just cut it out to make this one work. So. We're gonna throw this in right now. For you guys who probably have seen YouTubers install radios a thousand times, I apologize. But I'm excited for new speakers. Okay, so before I actually remove this, I thought I should probably show you why I wanna get rid of these speakers in this head unit. So we're gonna start with Okay, so we're gonna go to the tuner. Okay, we're on channel 76. So it goes 76 to 90. That frequency range is way too low for any like American stations. It does have an aux cable, which is like, okay, but Bluetooth is kind of the wave. But I'm gonna show you how bad these speakers are. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. 
Gucci gang. As you can see, they're slightly blown. <laughs> Big mess right here. So this old radio is actually a pioneer. And so is this one. And this one's actually kind of new. So I'm really, really hoping that this old harness fits in the new one because it'll take me a lot of time. So we'll just find out. Come on. Yes, it fits. <laughs> okay, that just saves me like 20 minutes. If you don't have the luxury of just swapping it over, as you can see right, right here, this is the two factory plugs. The little extension harness I was telling you about is this piece right here. It essentially goes off of the plugs and it gives you some open wires. Now this harness comes with the radio also and it's open wired. And you basically just match it color for color. They're pretty universal colors. And uh, you basically splice, you know, red to red, blue to blue, and vice versa until it's fully finished. And you just plug it in. It's that easy when you have the conversion harness. So that's nice and easy. But we are lucky enough that it just kind of kind of fits so these little mounting trays are actually pretty universal um surprisingly especially from cars in the 90s now radios most aftermarket radios have the same mounting points too as you can see on the sides so all we have to do is just unbolt this one and bolt that one back in it'd fit too if it was a different brand it's just a pretty universal fit come on little puppy nice come on <laughs> Look at that. English. We're gonna jump to the front speakers and I've honestly never taken my door cut off on a Z before. I never had to. So I hope it's easy. Some people have like just like a tray over their speaker and you can just remove that, but not in this case. That was a pain in the ass. Okay, so you might wonder how I might have decided what speaker to use for the car. Now essentially you can kind of go by size. Now you could pull your door card off and measure these. I just Googled it. <laughs> this car is old enough that it's been done plenty of times. So use a six and a half inch, six and a half inch speaker for the front and a four by six speaker in the rear. So we're just gonna take the OE off one now. Nice, look at that, spot on. Speakers are literally just two wire pieces, positive and negative. Essentially you just have to bolt this in and make that wire harness fit. Now the other wire harness slipped in and made a little perpendicular attachment. What I'm going to do is it comes with a extra harness slip on fitting for these two and then a slip on fitting and then a protruding fitting, I guess you'd call it to mimic this terminal. So I can just kind of push it into the OEM plug. You can cut your OEM harness if you really wanted to. You probably won't change your speakers really ever again. If you do, it's going to be a similar plug. So I guess it's not a big deal, but I just have this weird mentality of just, I hate cutting off OEM plugs if I don't have to. So. We're gonna do it this way. Super easy, it literally just plugs right in now. And then we just gotta align the holes for this. <laughs> the magnet makes it a little difficult. And the holes for the OEM speaker actually align with the speaker so we don't have to drill any more holes, which is really nice. And that's it, it's, it's done, that's so easy. All right. That just took me way too long. That was like utterly pathetic. Hey. When in doubt, coke it out. The rear speakers are a little bit easier to get to than the door cards. I'm pretty sure these just pop. Don't break them. These should just pop right out. Come on. But, so. They're right there. A lot easier than the fronts. All right, so we have the old speaker and the new, and it actually has like a sub harness from the factory. Now, it didn't come with an extra harness like I was hoping, so what I'm gonna do for the sub harness is I'm just gonna de-pin the plug for the speaker and it should just be able to slip on to the new ones. Good enough. Rears also line up on the bolt holes too, so it's nice and easy, and that was done in like 30 seconds.
speakers sound 180% better. I'm really happy I changed them. I want this car to not only be fun to drive, but I want it to be like enjoyable to drive. So the speakers are definitely a must. All right, so the sound system upgrade was a success. I'm really excited. Um, like I was saying before, having a good stereo in your car is very important because it makes the experience of driving way more enjoyable. So if you guys are still watching me, thank you. I hope you enjoyed my little speaker swap session. But we are going to now go back to where I said in the beginning of the video about trying to de-rust some coilovers with some coke. I'm very curious to you know, see where this goes. All right, so Dill was hitting these with pe uh, penetrating oil before and it kind of actually took a lot of rust off. Oh yeah, but, I'm uh, so surprised those collars came off. We're gonna, we're gonna aim for full cleanliness. Chug that whole thing, Dill, screw it. Yeah. That would just so, burn. I already have heartburn. Get it, get <laughs> it. Oh my God, I don't even want to see that. Oh, no, all right, relax, don't squeeze it. <clears throat> Oh, that kind of hurt. It's like the most unorthodox thing I've ever done. A cheaper option to this is getting a wire brush. Yeah. <laughs> For the sake of science. God damn it. <laughs> I thought we had all, all full coilovers, but I guess not. So now we got this big tub of stuff for nothing. So the problem is for you foreign, for you people that are not from America, Coke is actually probably cheaper than water. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's pathetic. It's so true. Oh, we need more cock. I don't know. Look at that. It's already eating rust off. That's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Mm. People put this in their body. We all just did. Dude, this is disgusting. <laughs> all right, so we're going to wait till tomorrow to pull the coils out of the coke. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to see how much this actually does. I've heard a lot of stories about coke being a really good rust remover if you have time to soak it like that. So we'll see how that goes. But the Z now has a fresh audio system. I still want to get a little sub for the thing to make it really nice. But in the meantime, I am excited about that. Now we're still waiting a little bit to get some more parts for the Z. We're kind of holding off this whole sh buying the shop kind of screwed my whole budget up, like I keep saying, but whatever. But I'm going to call it a night. It is freezing. It is late and I'm tired. But remember guys to grab yourself some merch on the store. I'll put the link in the description because every single penny that comes off of that store is going right into that Z. And I'm super excited. We're gonna make this thing insane with the help of you guys. And like I promised for you guys who watch the steering wheel install video, I'm gonna basically pick someone who orders a collab tee off the website to basically win the steering wheel. So we're gonna call it a little giveaway. If you guys want it. If you don't want it, I'll pick someone else. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So we're swapping all the good parts over. This one's cleaner shell, I guess. Yes. We're going to see this car transform very quickly. I'm very excited for it. It's going to be weird to see something other than an S-Jazz scene here. But, uh, we're going to do a little something funny with this. So his coilovers have a ton of rust on them, surface rust that is. They're not too bad, but we're going to try something funny and we're going to soak them in coke overnight to see if you can get the rust off. So this is essentially how dirty they are. As you can see, very rusty. The goal is to get all the rust off these threads essentially so he can spin these. I'll have to cover the rent and uh, he is moving in very fast. Hello. So I don't know if you guys heard me mention it in the last video, but he is building a Cressida. Another one. So do you want to explain what a Cressida is? It's a rear wheel drive grandma car. There it is. What year is this? 90. 90. This thing's cool though. So it, it, it literally is a grandma car. Look at it. It looks like an old Buick or something. But with a little bit of like an aero kit on it, these things look stupid sick. Like these things look insane. They look like super JDM and it's kind of weird to see it transform. So I'm excited. He just got this one. So he had one before. It has good parts on it. Some of them spin. Just not all of them. So This is Banjo too, by the way. And I want to show off the shop. So I had a lot of moving around yesterday too. We went to Lowe's and got a few things and I'm starting to look a little bit more moved in. I set up my workbench, quick little pegboard action. And uh, I got my work, I got my old toolbox back from Don. I was letting Don borrow this, but he's getting himself a new one for the holidays. So I was able to get this one back. And uh, we're working on the little hangout area. So my goal is to get a couch, put some nice little padded floor down and get a TV. 
and make this whole nice little hangout spot. But we're, we're getting there. I hung up my steering wheels, make it look all fancy. I'm really excited for this. I've been running around just kind of rambling at you guys, but what I really want to do tonight, like I said, is put a new little audio system in the Z. So we're going to do a little budget friendly audio system. We're going to go to the store, get some universal speakers, throw them in, put a new head unit in, and uh, make the Z sound nice. Hey, Steffi. Hi. Good old fashioned Walmart. All right, what is up guys? So it's a little late down at the garage. We had a late start for the day. We all kind of went to the skate park today. A new skate park opened by us and it was really fun. So, yes. What we're gonna do today is I wanna do a little sound system upgrade on the Z because the speakers are pretty blown and the head unit is in Japanese. But another interesting thing is we have our new shop mate. Well, not technically me, but at this garage. So, my buddy Dylan moved into our old bay to basically take my 